Okay, I want your guys' honest opinion. This was my very first time making a comic cake and I charged $40. They got an eight inch round confetti cake with vanilla custard filling, buttercream icing, and then the comic cake decoration. They had sent me a photo of what they had in mind, what they saw online and they liked. And I was like, you know what? I can try and make a cake very similar to that. Not exactly the same because obviously I'm not the person who decorated it in the first place, but I'll try my best to get it as similar as possible. And they're like, yeah, absolutely. Like, let's do it. We're excited. Okay, so keep in mind, I charge $40. I just want to know if it's a good price, if it's not enough or if it's too much, okay? You can skip to the end of the video if you don't want to see me decorating. Okay, so first things first, get your cake, put your crumb coat on it. For this one, I went around the top in a bunch of circles. You don't have to take it all the way to the edge just because when you go to smooth it out, it's going to push it even further to the edges, if that makes sense. And then I took the same color pink and I made a pink drip on the sides. I didn't really have a plan as to what I was doing. I just kind of went with the flow and did what felt right, if that makes sense. Off camera, I used really hot water and a spatula to smooth out my drip and to smooth out the top of my cake. This cake has a top line, a middle line, and a bottom line. You want to start with the top line and then hit the cake with the bottom line. That way, when you go to do the center line, it's pretty much even. Off camera, I went around these lines twice just to make them a little bit thicker. And then I also used hot water and a smaller spatula to smooth them out so they don't look as rough. Now this is the fun part and I was actually really scared to do it. It's the black outlining. You could easily mess this part up, which is like the main part of the cake. I made really small lines with small gaps in between them. And then in some spots, I did a little bit longer of a line, not too much longer, but a little bit. That way there's a little difference between them. It gives it more of that 3D look. So I did this on the drip on all three lines and then along the top of the cake. I took my time, I didn't wanna rush it. I wanted to make sure that I was doing a good job and it had lots of the right detail. One thing if I could recommend is that if you're planning on patting down any of those black lines on the cake, wherever it may be or not, with hot water, be careful because it will bleed. And once it bleeds, it's really hard to fix. It's like the dye in it just wants to escape once the moisture hits it. Anyways, you guys, this is how my cake turned out. Tell me if you think it was worth 40 bucks. I think so. I think it turned out absolutely great and I love it and I want to make more. This is like one of the best trends I've seen. I absolutely love it. It's a great idea. Looking pretty good.